as you'll see, we have a little different sight in front of you today. Instead of Brian and some boxes, you have a kitty cat, this is tiny, in my kitchen. In my beautiful 1970s kitchen, yes. Brian and I live in a 1970s era kitchen, or house. Um, we moved into a complete, uh, basically, renovation house that needs so much work and we've been very slowly making upgrades when we're able to find time and money to do so. So every time you see our house you will see works in progress and work that needs to be done but we love this house. It's in the perfect location and it has so many cool features that we love but anyhow excuse the mess, excuse the work that needs to be done. Today, I don't have any boxes to go through with you. Well, I might. Um, I may go through a little bit later some of our old estate junk because that's what I'm going to be listing. But I thought today I would just do a little bit of vlogging of what we're doing, mostly what Brian's doing because I'm cooking. I'm making bread and chicken salad. But um, just do some day in the life of resellers, work at home people and show you what's going on. We didn't wind up buying a storage unit yet because since we live in a 1970s house, we have crazy things that go on. Yesterday we had two toilets repaired or re completely replaced unexpectedly. <laughs> so we didn't buy a storage unit. That may be happening in the next couple of weeks, but for now we're just working through some stuff we have. Bear with me and I will show you what Brian's working on. Say hi to YouTube, Brian. Hey. Tell them what you're doing. Well, I'm finally going to get to that scrap, scrap metal pile. Uh, separate the brass, aluminum, copper, wire from that, um, this basic metal using a basic magnet. Let's pick it up. Put it in the garbage can and that's where it goes. Right here, this is scrap metal from, I don't know, probably the last five or ten storage units that we've bought yep. where we've just thrown scrap metal into sadly our Sanford and Son pile. When it gets to being a mess it starts annoying us. We want it gone. We want it out of our lives and we will wind up taking this over to the scrapyard. It stays out of the landfill and we'll get to take home a little bit of a check which that's super good. Unfortunately it means that he's going to spend the afternoon out here sorting metal which is no fun. But yeah, really not, but, yeah. <laughs> we keep saying, oh, we're not going to do this anymore. We're just going to take this over to the recycle yard. But for some reason, it just seems to wind up back here in a pile and he winds up sorting it again. Well, I will say I'm not doing as much as I was doing in the past. Um, I was doing a lot more in the past. I was cutting, uh, breaking things open and getting the the motors out of them and stuff like that and really just, just the value's not there for me to spend my time to do that so I'll get through this one today this is just stuff that I brought over from the house right here so you know just gonna take it over there and give it to them and they'll do it whatever they do with these things so well for now I'm gonna shout pause shout out to our friend Keith who works at a scrap Scrapyard? He works at a scrapyard. Well, I'm going to pause for now and I'm going to get back to my cooking so that I can make Brian a nice hot dinner. And then later on, I'm going to go through a box or two from the estate to find us some cool stuff to list on eBay and put this together into just a little vlog of what we're doing today while we're kind of between storage units. Yeah, we're definitely going to be between storage units for a little bit. We'll be back with you later. Bye-bye. Bye. So, Brian came in from doing his scrap metal sorting. That will continue on tomorrow. Found out that we're going to have to go over to our storage unit facility for a little while today. Uh, the storage unit that we sold, he's got to go uh, meet the guy who's picking up the stuff here in a little while. So, that's good. That puts a little cash in our pocket and lets us set up the next unit which gets rid of some stuff. Um, right now, what I'm doing is sorting through some of the stuff from our old estate sale purchase, which we purchased almost a year ago, just within probably a few days at this point. It would have been a year. Um, this estate sale purchase has been just a 
continuous source of income for us. Um, the stuff that I'm looking at now is just, I mean, not junk, but it's just stuff. Um, most of where we've made our money has been books. That is what we love, What why we bought the unit. This is just the stuff that came along with it. Odds and ends, doodads, doohickeys. A lot of this stuff will wind up in our antique booth or some of it will wind up in Goodwill. But it's got to eventually get processed and get gone through. So we've slowly been working through it. I thought I'd go through a little bit of it on camera today. Give you all some different stuff to look at. Let the cats have some different stuff to sniff. <laughs> so far, um, actually kind of a cool ashtray. It looks like a, um, I don't know, a map from somewhere. My guess would be maybe somewhere in um, Belgium. The owner of the estate, the original owner of the estate, she was, I believe, from Belgium originally and had tons of stuff from just Belgium. Also had just some cups over there with like an Aztec print, some chopsticks, a bell. This looks like the lid to a cookie jar. Hopefully we find the bottom because that looks like a cool acorn. There's a bowl, just nothing, nothing special. Brian is over there playing uh, Skyrim, or no, Oblivion, Oblivion. Well, we'll give him the chance to rest, because he was working out in the cold, sorting scrap metal. And he's got to go meet somebody to sell a storage unit. These are cool. That is something that I actually like to find. Those are cast iron stocking holders. And this time of the year, those will fly on eBay. Just one might sell for $10. I'm hoping there'll be a set. I will list these or those. Oh, there's more. Yep. These I will list tonight. That will be on my list of things to list tonight. What else do we have in here? I'm dropping glass. Thankfully not very far. That's a cool little goblet. The murder scene you hear in the back is just video game. Don't freak out. Oh, cats. More odds and ends, glassware. Oh, good, good, good. More stocking holders. Stocking holders will be your bolo today, and you might think, Tracy, if I find these in January, if I find these in April, should I buy them? Yes. People buy Christmas all year long. People love Christmas all year long. The funniest thing to me is when we go to storage auctions, live storage auctions, and the old men that are at live storage auctions, and they say, there's just a bunch of Christmas stuff here. Yuck, I don't like Christmas stuff. And I just laugh inside. I try to be polite. Some people would say I'm not polite, that I'm rude. I can be rude, but <laughs> Brian said he's not going to say a thing. But I try to be polite at the storage auctions to those people. But I just laugh inside because there is so much money in Christmas stuff. We sell Christmas stuff all year round. This is just a little heart-shaped dish. What's funny is this particular um, box here... More than likely, I probably packed it because I kind of remember wrapping this stuff with this particular wrapping paper, but I vaguely remember any of this stuff because that was a very hectic couple of days where we were boxing up the stuff from this estate sale. It was fun, but man, it was a lot of work. More ashtrays, which... Not a smoker, but we, we sell our share of ashtrays. More ashtrays. I'm trying to see what that's. Looks like um, some kind of company, an advertising ashtray. Have to look that up. Sometimes those can be very lucrative. These are actually very cool. Um, 
nice heavy duty stoneware um it's marked made in france grist pots i don't know what grist pots is but that's very nice stoneware i have no doubt that somebody would pay for those on ebay yeah it looks like maybe one more thing in here Oh, more of these. Awesome. That means we've got a set of six. Set of six is perfect. Sets of four and six is exactly how I like to sell glassware, stoneware, anything like that. But that's what this box was. I mean, nothing thrilling, but this is some stuff that I will sit down and list. Just let you say hi to a cat that you don't see much of because he's hard to photograph. Pure black cats are very hard to photograph. He does a little better on video. That's Mars. He is 100% black. He doesn't have a speck of white on him anywhere. He's beautiful. He's my little baby. He's a chicken. He is a chicken. And there's Flareon. He's also a chicken. I take a lot of pictures of him, though. He photographs quite well. But anyhow, I'm going to wrap up for today. Brian, say goodbye. We've got to go over and do some more work, and then we're going to put some work into trying to bring our Archie home tonight. It is day four or five of no Archie, but we have a idea to hopefully maybe lure him home tonight, crossing our fingers that it works, or we might bring home a pet possum this way. <laughs> Either way, like, share, subscribe, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video of something. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.